our history has always uh, neglected the voices of, of other sort of like social groups such as the Chinese who's been here since 1840s. And I feel that people that learn about the other uh, changes them in a way. In the last 10 years, I've been working on these history projects, the core of which has to deal with the history of the Chinese in Australia since 1840. One of the main issues of those is really the interest in history of violence and history of benevolence. And I think they do go hand in hand. This particular show, there is an emphasis on the largest civil riot in Australia called the Lemming Flat Riots, which happened in a town called Young. There's always been books, written about the history of the Chinese in Australia since 1840. However, there's never been a visual history of this. Collaboration informs John's practice in a number of different ways. Um, obviously there is the studio uh, which has three or so painting assistants as well as administrative support at any given time. He has really sought to professionalise um, art practice within Australia. We actually work in a team uh, to research on this uh, almost for two years and we found like about 103 narratives that are absolutely fantastic to tell. But the interesting thing about this is, is, is that the narratives are broken narratives, they're not necessarily complete narratives and so we can actually give us room to reimagine imagine them and it's also things that are actually done from a distance in time as well because we, we started in 1840 and we the project ends in um, 1966 which is the end of the white Australia policy so it's 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 actually you know very significant that all these stories are half told and can be half imagined as well so my hope is not necessarily that people get a very succinct historical objective narrative about all these events. My hope is that people can see that in contemporary art there is a capacity to be able to tell these fragmented stories. It's a reimagining and a, a reconstruction of these stories that I feel is interesting. The key work is the Lemming Flat riots in this particular exhibition. It's the largest civil riot in Australia, believe it or not, from about 1860 to 1861. About uh, 2,000 Chinese miners in Yang were chased out of their area where they were mining in their fields. So they actually marched away from the mines towards a place where they heard somebody was giving shelter to them. And it was a person called James Roberts. And he had this large piece of land where he housed them for several months and fed them for several months. This particular riot was not as violent as it could have been, primarily because somebody actually intervened. There's a personal side to it which is certainly significant as well. In 1901, the White Australia policy was actually uh, instituted and, um, and so the population of Chinese people actually really dropped in Australia because of that. And so from 1901 to 1966, um, this particular policy was in place and I came to Australia in 1967. Collaboration I think has been really important in creating a kind of plurality of perspectives on a history that is mutually very important because obviously it's larger than just John. In a way this show brings a different perspective about an event like Lemming Flat Riots but it also brings uh, different characters even just within the small area of the Chinese diaspora in Australia since 1840, different characters who, who actually created sort of like as a society that's, that we are at as, as well, you know, and uh, in a positive way. This is my hope, is for people to be able to see that there are all these sort of different um, perspectives and different aspects of society brought together by these uh, simple narratives in looking at the works, the audience and myself, we all take part in the, in the reimagining of these stories. We go hand in hand in terms of looking at these histories of benevolence uh, in these events.